this this hopefully will go pretty fast, all right, even though it's still extremely exciting. So what we need is for the equation to equal zero, meaning we need everything on the other side of the equal sign. Now, we're not looking at two variables anyways until we start graphing these, and I don't know if we do that in 1010, so we may be off the hook in terms of that, but if we can just figure out what the zero values are, then, then we should be in great shape. So on this second part here, the zero factor property, so you know how a times b, if that's equal to zero, then what we're saying that either a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. Now that may sound kind of fancy right now, but the difference is, since we've been dealing with polynomials, is that A or B or both may be polynomials. Specifically the bino bi sorry, the binomials that we've been dealing with, okay? So a quadratic is a polynomial with a degree of two. That's great. Thank you. So we're looking again at A times B equals zero. No need to move everything to one side because it's already there. So, well, either 5x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. Does that make sense? Because if I can get this to equal 0, it doesn't matter what x minus 2 is, I'm going to get 0. On the other hand, if I can get x minus 2 to equal 0, whatever I multiply that by whatever x is, 5x minus sorry, plus one, I'm still going to get zero. Does, does that kind of help with what we just talked about, the a times b equals zero? If that doesn't make any sense, just take both factors and make them equal to zero. Those are your solutions. And we'll check, all right, because you should always check. All right, so I need 5x plus one to be zero because if this is zero, Zero times anything is zero. It doesn't matter what x minus 2 would be. So if I were to solve this equation, I would subtract 1 from both sides. And I would get 5x equals negative 1. Then I would divide both sides by 5, giving me x equals negative 1 fifth. Now again, I should check this, right? So I'm going to look at 5x, but x is a negative 1 fifth times... Uh, sorry, plus 1. And the x again is negative 1 fifth. Again, what's in this second set of parentheses should not make any difference because if that first factor is 0, then it's all 0. So 5 times negative 1 fifth, that would give me, well, negative 1. And I have plus 1. Negative 1 fifth minus 2 is uh, negative 11 fifths, if you really want that but we don't need it because negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And if I multiply that by negative 11 fifths, what do I get? I get 0. And does 0 equal 0? That's true. So we just check that x equals negative 1 fifth. But that's only for one of the factors. We need to look at x minus 2 and make that equal to 0 as well. So let's look at x minus 2 and make that equal to 0. And to solve this one, shouldn't be too hard. Just add 2 to both sides, and we get x is equal to 2. So this should be the answer to the second part. Let's check it. So I've got 5 times 2 plus 1. And then I've got 2 minus 2. And this should equal 0. We'll put a question mark just to see that we're checking our work. 5 times 2 is 10. And then we got the plus 1. And 2 minus 2 is 0. Does this equal 0? And this would give us 11 times 0. Does it equal 0? Yes, it does. 0 does equal 0, so we know that this also is a true statement when x is 2. Two answers done. For the most part, you're not going to see this on the homework or the test. They're going to multiply these two together and make you factor that out.
Okay. What is that? 5x squared minus 9x minus 2. So it'll just be like basically... So if, if we got around to graphing this, which we may in this class, and I don't remember and I apologize, but what we would be doing is graphing this, and what you'd find is that where x is 2, which would be right here, and where x is negative one-fifth, which may be around right there. I mean, the graph on this one, yeah, it should open upwards, but maybe look something like this. I mean, I'm, I can't verify that, but it would cross the x-axis at these two points. So really, we are finding the, the two um, x-intercepts.